Well, what's up guys? Welcome back to The Educated Barfly. It is nog season, so we're gonna be making some nogs and I'm breaking out the Applejack yet again. I will say this, so Marius doesn't have to remind me in this episode. Anytime I use Applejack, you can absolutely feel free to use Calvados. Just pick like a VSOP or higher grade Calvados to use. Uh, you can definitely use that if you can't get Applejack. Um, I'm using the Laird's Applejack because I love it and I have it and we're gonna be making the cocktail. So let's get into making the cocktail. And this one's got, this one's a classic that's got a lot of very interesting history. And then uh, Marius and I were trying to untangle the, uh, the Gordian knot of information that we stumbled upon. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. But before that, smash the like button. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get into making the drink. So first thing we're gonna do is just a couple of dashes of Angostura bitters. Uh, we're gonna do half an ounce of Demerara syrup. We're gonna do an ounce and a half of Applejack or Calvados. And I will say that this is, did I say that this is an adapted version of this drink? The original version is not quite this way. This is a completely adapted version. And then we're gonna just use this whole egg. We're gonna give it a nice shake. All right, then we're gonna give a, put our ice in, give it another good shake. All right, and we're gonna give it a strain. And then we're just gonna top it up with some dry cider. Now, you can use any type of cider you want, as long as it's made with apples, not from concentrate, and it's dry. You don't want it to be too sweet. And we're just gonna... And this is the hard kind. Yes, this is actual cider. Right. This is uh, the hard cider. But, uh, but I wasn't wrong about cider, because you know, when I was growing up, we called fresh pressed apples mm. that were pressed into juice that weren't filtered, Cider, that's what they call it in New England. Right. It doesn't necessarily have to be alcoholic, but we also do call alcoholic cider, cider. We just, you in the US, they just say hard cider, don't they, usually? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, I mean, that's, I don't know. When I was growing up, that's how it was. I'm just gonna give a little nutmeg grate. Let's give this the old tasty poo, shall we? Oh, that's, ooh, that's fantastic. It's nice because it's not too sweet at all. Very apple forward and very dry from the finish. It's really nice. I thought that maybe it would be a little too sweet with the Demerara sugar, with half an ounce of Demerara sugar, but it's really not. It's really, really nice. And this is uh, General Harrison's Eggnog. I don't know if I said that in the beginning of the episode. It's called General Harrison's Eggnog. It is named after a guy named William Henry Old Tip Canoe Harrison, who was the ninth president of the United States. And he ran on what David Wondrich called the log cabin and hard cider ticket for presidency. So basically the idea was that he was just running for president because he was just a, he was just a regular guy that wanted to sit on his porch and drink cider and people bought it and elected a president. He was elected president March of uh, 1841 and died 31 days later to the day of either tuberculosis or pneumonia. They don't really know which one. So I, when I was researching this, I was obviously uh, went to imbibe as my first resource. And I found something in there that might be an inconsistency. It could be a mistake. I don't really know. I, I don't know if I'm confident enough to really call it a mistake because maybe it was intentional. I hold David Wonders in very high esteem. And I, use, I, I have used him for uh, my kind of resource for a really long time. But in, in Imbibe, he says that it was Benjamin Harrison, right? Benjamin Old Tip Canoe Harrison. But the thing is, is that Benjamin Harrison was born in 1833. So he would have been seven years old in 1840 when William Henry Harrison was running for president, right? Yeah, Benjamin is his grandson. Benjamin is his grandson, who also, confusingly enough, was also a US president. He was the 23rd president of the United States and served for one term. So 
William Henry Old Tip Canoe Harrison was the ninth president of the United States, and then his grandson was the 23rd president of the United States. So it's a very easy mistake to make, but I, I, don't, know if, I, don't, I don't know if it's a mistake, but it seems like a mistake to me. Uh, but anywho, this is a wonderful historic drink. The, the thing is, is that I actually did a little bit of a um, adapted one. So the original is actually just sugar, egg, and cider. And you're actually supposed to shake the cider in the tin, which would then dispel the gas and turn it into uh, turn it into a, a kind of a flat drink. Um, so we did like an adapted version where we just add the applejack. Yeah. Just make it a little boozier. The alcoholic apple juice. Yeah, it'd be like kind of alcoholic apple juices. Yeah, and like and lightly alcoholic at that. Uh, we made a little bit of a I don't know. It, right now, in what's going on in the world, everyone needs a stiff drink. This is it right here. This is gonna bring in everyone's holidays. So there you have it, guys. The General Harrison's Eggnog. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon and YouTube memberships. We've got good stuff going on on our website. And it's like, Marius has been doing a really good job on our website. And uh, we are constantly upgrading it. We have a shop there. We have virtual bottle program, if you like that. And we have our t-shirts are linked in through our website. So go to theeducatedbarfly.com and check that stuff out. And I will see you guys on another time. <laughs>